to prestige or not to prestige? That is the question, ladies and gentlemen, and I am the Austere Wizard. And today, we're talking about prestiging, as you can probably guess by now, and whether or not it's worth the effort to go ahead and prestige in Advanced Warfare, uh, considering that you lose your challenge progress, you lose all your weapons, you lose all your unlocks, and you're really only left with your previously unlocked camos and whatever you decide to carry over as well as the things that are um, automatically unlocked when you start fresh. Um, so far I've carried over Scavenger and the AM9. Do I regret both of those choices? Yeah, a little bit. But do I care? No, not really because I am possibly the greatest Call of Duty player of all time. And what I carry over is just for fun, as it doesn't really matter because you start off with two of the best guns in the game anyways with the BAL-27 and the KF-5 fresh off the bat. Um, but my question to you is, do you think it's worth it to prestige? Personally, I know I'm going all the way to 16 or whatever it is, master, prestige, prestige, master, whatever you want to call it this time around. I know I'm going there, however long it takes, I'll hit it. Um, I'm currently over halfway through my second prestige, so I've prestiged twice. And that's what you're watching in the background, what I decided to carry over. I already said that. Um, but it's not really worth it, if you think about it, considering you have to re-unlock everything that you've earned. Um, the most annoying thing is the challenges for your camos. That's such a pain to redo, um, especially now with the 200s. But it, they did make it easier with the recent patch a little bit here and there. Uh, they balanced it out, I think that's fair to say. Um, and as you saw, when you prestige for the second time, all you get is a damn pair of shoes. I don't want no shoes. I mean, first prestige, that was great. You got the whole outfit lined up. You got the helmet, loadout, shirt, pants. I think I may have got two pants. And even shoes, you got boots and shin guards and all this cool stuff. Then you prestige the second time, you're like, oh, here's some orange shoes. Like, oh, thanks. Thanks, Sledgehammer. You really made it worth my wild. Maybe later on we get some crazy cool stuff when you prestige, like level 10 or 15 even. So I can't wait to see what you get unlock. You know, I'm all about getting the exclusive stuff, unlocking everything, DLC, this, that, and the other. So if that's something you guys want to see um, as I approach it and possibly even live stream it in the future, you're going to want to click subscribe if you haven't already because that will definitely be coming in the future as soon as I get to those milestones. But like I said, my question to you guys is what do you think about the value of prestiging in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare? I know Sully, he was very adamant uh, when we were talking recently about not prestiging. And then he was like, you know what, fuck it. And he went ahead and prestiged. So a lot of people do seem to hesitate. Like I said, I'm going all the way, but I really want to hear what you guys think about it. And if you want to see uh, the prestige loot and all that cool stuff that you unlock uh, later on as you progress throughout the game. So sound off in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Share this video with anyone who might be interested if they don't already know about my channel. And as always, for the latest and greatest Call of Duty Advanced Warfare content, you're going to want to keep it locked right here on YouTube.com slash TheOsterWizard. And until next time, Wizard out.